Yep, that's a fish. I felt that. That hit hard. Come on. Whoa. That just grabbed it. Please don't rape me. I'm just nervous there's rocks here somewhere. Here we go, I can see a big silver flash. What do we got? Hey! There's a proper one. Yeah, the bush is getting a wee bit thick. Far out. With the added vine thrown in here and there for good measure. Quite the hike this is turning into. All right, here we go. So, long walk, very long walk. We're just about at the ledge. We're about to head down and um, get stuck into some fishing. Hopefully we get a jewfish or a snapper, maybe some tuna or kingies around. You never really know, but conditions are looking really good at the moment. Wind's due to pick up and go a bit crap in the Arvo, but we're gonna get down there, get fishing, see what we can catch and camp one night, fish tomorrow morning, and then head home. So, let's get down there. Oh, it looks so good. Just wanna get a line in the water. Itching. Won't be long now. It's a bit nerve-wracking, especially with a big backpack. Here we go. The ledge. I quite often camp right there. Has been a little while since I've been here. I might camp down here this time. Let's see. Rope off. Ah, that is a good weight off the shoulders right there. We've made it. All right, we're ready to head down and start fishing. Now, I forgot to mention in the last video, I got a new rod, Ocean's Legacy long cast PE three to six with a twin power 10K, 50 pound Tasline. Um, anyway, details are in video description as always. And let's get a line in the water out there. Haven't caught anything big on it yet. I only caught a Harlequin fish so far, so. Good size halicrin fish, but I want something to pull some drag, hopefully. Put a good bend in the rod. What do we got? We got a groper down here. I just saw it. Snagged. There he is. Little groper. I don't really want to catch him. last cast and we will um, change plastics I reckon another f oh pretty sure that was a fish Away fly. Yep, that's a fish. I felt that. That hit hard. Come on. That's a bigger fish. Come on. What do we got? I hope it's a snapper. More head shakes. I think.
What do we got? Jesus. Good size one. Nice. Mate. I think we're gonna have to gap this one, it's pretty big. Or she. That's it. Surely that will grab, yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm shaking. All right, let's just... Take it up. Woo! What a rush. That's a proper dewy. Be in the 80s, maybe. Oh, he stinks. He's been eating stuff. I think that's a she as well. Oh, spiky. How good is that? Whoa, got to fall over. I'm stoked on that. That's a proper dewy. Good size one. I'll give it a measure in a sec. But uh, that's the biggest thing I've caught on the new combo so far. I reckon that's got to be pushing 80 centimetres. That'll be dinner. And plenty to take home for the family. They'll be stoked on that. I haven't taken some good fish home for a while, so not lots of it anyway. All right, we've got our dinner. We will, um, we've brain spiked it. We'll go bleed it and then we'll probably um, fillet it soon. Yeah, not quite over 80. 76. So my PB's all the way out there and I'm really aiming for one up here. A meter, crack the meter one day. So good, that's a good fish. We'll um, let it blade a bit longer and fillet it. All right, time to get the fillet done. And um, the wind's due to come in soon. So if we can get this off and get some burly in the water in time, we might get a tuna or some yellowtail kingfish around. We'll see. Anyway. There we go. One fillet. Did a bit of a crappy job on that, to be honest. But um, that will do. I just want to pat the uh, blood off of it if I can. I don't really care if my shirt stinks. I can always wash it. There we go. Bit, bit happier with that one. That's a bit of a better fillet. I mean, the other one, I got most of the stuff on there. It just looked a bit tatty. And for the wings, if you haven't, if I haven't shown you before, which I'm pretty sure I have, these two bones, not pretty much, or probably all fish are the same. There's these two bones that slide against each other here, and it looks like it's joined. You just get your knife in there and slip through. I've already done and then you just work my way down here without trying not to rupture too much of the stomach if I can avoid it not 
sure if there's an easier way. We're up here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, if you get right up in there, that was, that was about as smooth as I get. This one stinks, eh? It's stomach. Must have a very full stomach or something. Again, try to show you. We've got these right there. It's hard to hold it up. There we go. If I push this bit down, then the other bit lifts a bit. It's hard to hold it up and show you and cut it all at the same time. There we go. There's a there's quite a large meal. I don't know if I'm in view properly or not. There is quite a large view. Uh, there's quite a large meal right there and a lot of people throw that away so when you catch a decent fish keep that there we go it's quite a good sized chunk there really we'll do the other side it's a full mouthful at least anyway Put these little morsels in here. Two little cheek morsels. I'll probably have them for dinner with maybe some of the wing or I don't know. And that is going to be my burley. I'll put that in a burley bag along with that. And that, jeez, filthy. All right, here we go. Casting a Helco Max, by the way, and that wind has definitely come in. But uh, let's see. We'll just see. Last few times I've been here, at least the last time, the snapper were here, but they were not eating plastics. Um, and as soon as I got a bait in the water, it just fired. So I'm going to give that a shot. Just in case. Find out in a sec. If I catch a dewfish, then I'll probably just have to stop fishing the bottom for the day. Those salmon must have hugged the coast that closely. If I had a pink casting lures, then I would have got one. Anyway, that's what you get for uh, being impatient and changing. But I do want to snap up more than um, salmon, that's for sure. A lot more. Whoa! That just grabbed it! Can't feel reef yet. I hope this is a snapper. I'm tempted to tie the drag. I don't want to risk it. Oh, I felt a bit of reef. Come on. Oh, yeah, picky. Nice. Yes. You. <laughs> My decision to uh, have a go with a bit of bait paid off. Delivering. Second cast, I think it was. 
a third car after I've moved spot. Bam, the fish just hit it and ran. They go pretty hard, the old snapper. All right, here we go. Another cast. It's getting very windy, but um, we'll have one more go, and then I'll probably call it, I reckon. Or we'll use up our bait if I don't catch fish. Then I'll call it and we will go up and uh, fill it and relax for the Arvo. This is getting ridiculous. Come on. Feel it. Now I hooked a rock. I got excited but I hooked a rock. If that's a snapper, that's a big one. I reckon. Please don't read me. Could be a PB, I'm on good here. Time the drag a bit since the last one. We did like that. I'm just nervous there's rocks here somewhere. Here we go. I can see a big silver flash. What do we got? I've just hooked the line instead. Can we drag him up on the line? What happened? Oh, I thought I'd lost my fish. Come on! I think I got 
bit of gas in him. I don't know how good it is. That could be a PB. I reckon that's a meter. I reckon we've cracked the meter on the snapper, which would be absolutely fantastic. Oh, well, a bit of a wave behind me there. Oh, now we just have to take him off. Oh! We can call it 90 to the fork. I think it's a 103, actually. 103, new PB, 103, yeah! Stoked on that. That is a big fish. Oh man, that's a big fish. <sighs> All right, we better get filleting. I would have probably released this guy if I could have, but when you can't, don't even think about it. Fillets for days now. Fillets for days, mate. Right, that's that done. I would take the wings, but I don't think I can fit them and there's no point in taking what I can't actually keep cool, unfortunately. Oh, and I'm so buggered. This is our kitchen tonight. I've found somewhere out of the wind, I think, but it's just so windy, so I'm jamming, jamming myself in the corner here. I'm just gonna cook up some juvie wraps and Hide back in the tent again. That's the plan. As you can see, it's sizzling away very nicely. That is looking bloody good right now. And how's the view out there too? Sun's just going down. And, uh, quite nice. Put some light on the situation. Now. I'm gonna get the mayonnaise on there now so that it doesn't all blow away, hopefully. And then... Give that a little bit longer for that big chunk, but I'll eat that soon. Might turn that down a bit. I might even slide it up out of the oil if we can. How's that for thinking? Okay, let me hide from the wind a bit. I'm gonna smash down two of these. So thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully you can actually see me in the dark. I'm hiking out early tomorrow morning. And then we're going on another adventure though. I didn't really plan on injuring myself but it happens i got a bit of a headache at the moment probably from whacking my jaw so 
we'll just check that situation but the plan is that we're going somewhere else for a few days um getting dropped off by a boat so you'll see that if that happens thanks for watching we'll see you later